Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Give God praise. Amen. Before we move on, I have good news for the youth. Tomorrow morning during the breakout sessions, you will have the receive some for your morning breakout session. It will be a whole service. You will enjoy yourself up there. Clap your hands and give God praise. So don't forget, tonight, if anybody took an envelope from the prophet Kofi Drew, and they're preaching yesterday night and you have it here please or any other envelope from monday till now please pick up those envelopes and place them in the baskets in front of us here quickly let's do that let's do that let's do that any seed in your hand any seed in your hand from prophet Kofi. if it has to do with the books make sure that it's, it's that one you hold on it for some time hold to the books money for some time but if it is the seed to the church to the event from monday till now particularly that of the prophet coffee rule you want to get it ready just come put it in the basket and the lord will bless your life thank you very much for your obedience thank you thank you for your commitment may the lord remember you and the prayer request you place and the the assignment you place on this seed let the lord open the doors for your life and your family in the name of jesus thank you the lord bless you any seed that you have from Monday till now, you may just do the same. Thank you very much. And the Lord bless you. Just waiting for one or two more people coming through. The Lord bless you for your commitment in giving. We are getting ourselves set and ready for the blast. Our Papa is going to come back here to preach on prosperity. Your life tonight has been marked for a, a great change. That will be amazing even to you yourself. All right. Put your hands together and give God praise. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the giving of your people and the seed and the assignment to the seed that you remember the assignment and cause them to come to pass. Even in Jesus' name, amen. 
The Lord bless you. Thank you for every giving. Thank you for everything that you have done tonight. Our mother has finished. Our father is about to come in here with a word on prosperity in the name of Jesus. He set us a table before me in the presence of my enemies. That is our portion tonight before we leave. I want you to get ready. Let's put our hands together and receive the bow to bring us ministry as we get ready to receive our father. Put your hands together for them. Please, let's go up this way. Let's go up this way. I think that it's a whole phase of the ministry. It's a new um, session that is showing up. So let's give it the same push. Thank you. Clap for them as they do. The Lord bless you.
Et pas à m'y Et soit pas, pas soit mal A quoi j'en ai tué Et soit pas, pas soit mal Ça me dit ça ou bien je me sais A quand même souda
Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Amen. How long? How long did mommy preach? 15 minutes or something? I, I was asking how many minutes did mommy preach? Was it 15 minutes? You know, I introduced her and I said I was going to sit for 15 minutes because I'm tired. So after 15 minutes, I will go into the office and rest a little bit and come and do my own. This one cry your own cry. But I don't know when I sat through to the end and I don't know how I stayed until everything ended. But mommy, thank you so, so much for that ministration. The Lord mightily bless you. But when, I, when, when she finished, I told her she has retired all of us from preaching. So I told the office staff, I said, let's go home. The meeting is over. But, but we thank God for her life and for that delivery. I want to I want to remind all the pastors that 
at the desert pastures, the month of April, we call it the month of laughter. The month of laughter. And, and, and it's not going to be only laughter. It's going to be laughter and dancing. So we, so, so we call it dafta. Dafta. The D is for the dancing and the rest is for the laughter. So we just call it dafta. So in this month coming, April, you are going to dance. You are going to have five things. Peace. Then you are going to have joy. Then you are going to have singing. And you are going to have dancing. And then you are going to have laughter. Come on, shout and amen. Everybody say peace. Everybody say joy. Everybody say singing. Everybody say dancing. And everybody say laughter. He said he shall turn your captivity. Put a song upon your tongue. And put laughter in your mouth. If you can scream it, it's yours. Man, I want you, I want you to sit down and I, I hope I don't preach too long. Because mommy has finished preaching the whole Bible. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Leadeth me beside the still waters, restored my soul. Leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Ladies and gentlemen, if you know what prosperity is, you will never pray for it. If you know what prosperity is, you will never pray for it. <laughs> Anybody who knows true prosperity, in fact, working for salary at the end of the month, pray for that one. But prosperity, where you can have lands, build houses, do unimaginable things, don't pray for it if you don't have a heart. Jesus said you will get it with persecutions. So if you know you can't deal with persecution, don't pray for prosperity. They go together. Today's message is not for chicken. It's not for fowl. Listen, if you know you are a fowl, just fly out of here. You are sitting in the wrong place. I'm talking about prosperity. I was talking to a rich man. He told me, he said, do you know what they used to tell my wife? Some spirits used to even tell my wife that I am the one who has used her for juju. Mm. That is why she's sick. Mm. I'm telling you, you can never prosper without human beings creating stories. But you see, when God decides to prosper you, He has decided. No human being can change it. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord. Prosperity, don't doubt God. Today I'm going to be talking about God and I'm going to be talking about persecution or fire or trials, afflictions. Those two things. God, but let me start with God. The Lord is my shepherd. May you get money which comes from God. Sometimes I meet people and they say, Oh, the days of manna are over. If the days of manna are over, Jesus will not say, Pray that give us this day our daily bread. I can tell you, and if you can shout an amen, is that you can get money you don't know where it's coming from. Some of you will wake up tomorrow morning and there's money in your bank account. You don't know where it came from. Somebody will send you some momo by mistake.
Predictable money is pain. Unpredictable money is prosperity. Predictable money is money like your salary. It's a lot of pain. You do too much accounting and too much auditing. But unpredictable money, goodness and mercy, following you all the days of your life. That is the prosperity you have entered. <laughs> Today the Lord told me something about the, you, the pastors. He said, I should show you a secret. And pray about it. Any pastor who depends on collective offering will be a specimen of mockery. Because collective offering will not take you anywhere. Check in the Bible. The people God truly called, they never depended on collected, collective offering. And anytime they had to do collective offering, there was a problem. People were unfaithful. Like Ananias and Sapphira, somebody would die. But many times when God wanted to bless them, God just looked for one man, two men, three men, four men, isolated. I pray in your church, two men will get up, three men. Three men. We are, that, that's where we are. One person who can build an airport by himself. You can't even say amen. The last time I checked, amen was free of charge. I'm talking about God who alone in the beginning said the earth was without form and void and God said and this God is your shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh, God can give money like that. You are trying to say God cannot create paper. What is money? No be paper. No be paper. Now you the talk say God created the world. You no go fit create paper. I like the way you are staring at me. You believe in Jesus, change water into wine. You don't believe God can do miracle. Give you money, you don't know where it's coming from. Look at you. Even the amen, you are saying it like you are, you are in a deaf and dumb street. If God cannot give prosperity, then we are like the people whom the Bible said they murmured in the wilderness and they said, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Every pastor under the sound of my voice, may God take you beyond tithe and offering. A pastor who is waiting for tithe and offering before you do something. You are like a public servant who is waiting for salary and payday before you can do anything. One day a pastor was inviting me to come and preach in his church. I, I said, when is the date? I said, um, the date I'm available is around the 18th to 21st. He said, daddy, that date will not work. Oh. I said, why? He said, you know, they, have, they would have paid people and it's a very long time from the payday. They pay them at the end of the month and by the 18th they are broke. I said, you are useless pastor. I'm not coming to your church. Number one, is it because of money you are holding the program? I just want a revival. I'm not coming because of the money of your people. And then, you are also not inviting me because you want to use me to raise money for your ministry. But if you are inviting me because of spiritual reasons, and I'm coming because of spiritual reasons, end of month, middle of month, beginning of month, non-consequential, God is the God of every day. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And besides, what God are you serving who is broke on the 18th? And broke on the 19th? And broke on the 20th? And then the first, your God will suddenly prosper. That God is a public servant. Who is depending on people's pay? Hey. Pastor, mommy can't say me Any church which is waiting for ties day is a miserable church. I like the way you are looking at me. Oh, yeah, when ties day bar. Ne iti You are waiting for ties day before you pay your workers. Waiting for ties day before you continue your building. 
Tell somebody standing by you, that's a useless church. Some of you wait for some of you wait for payday before you give your wife money. Honey, I need money to fix my hair. Oh, when they pay me salary, I will give you money. You are useless, man. Your children come. Uh, daddy, school fees. Wait, when they pay me. Abba. Give us this day our daily bread. And the day can be the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, the twelfth, the thirteenth, the fourteenth, the fifteenth, the sixteenth, the seventeenth, the eighteenth, the nineteenth, the twentieth, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord. That is prosperity. That is Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Come on, scream like your father. is not my shepherd my boss is not my shepherd a human being is not my shepherd no 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 if human becomes if human being becomes your shepherd and your provider and the human being dies you are finished If you depend on human beings <laughs> and see when you go to funeral and many people start crying asan, asan. it means all their hope is finished they were depending on human beings but when you say God the Lord is my shepherd listen God gives money it is possible you can wake up tomorrow morning and a car is parked in your house in your house is possible Jesus who told his disciples go to the side in the village you see two donkeys tied untie them and bring them somebody said but you are not Jesus but the work Jesus was doing with the donkey that is the same work I'm doing is it not the work Jesus Jesus didn't need the donkey to eat he needed the donkey to ride it and go and do a certain work. And the work Jesus needed the donkey to do, he said, the works that I do, oh, shall you do, shall I do, shall you do. And greater works than these shall he do. That means if he took donkeys, I need to take something better than donkey. Take something bigger than donkey. Take something greater than donkey. That is why today, I'm not riding on a donkey. I'm riding a car and in an airplane and on a motorbike and on a bicycle. Why? Greater works, greater means of transport. Greater works, greater money. Greater works, greater favor. Greater works, greater house. Greater works, greater buildings. Scream like a fan. If I must do greater works, greater technology. That's why Jesus didn't use Facebook. He didn't use X. He didn't use um, he, he didn't use what YouTube. No television. Greater works. God. And in the days of Jesus, he multiplied bread. Bread multiplied. I remember one day I was lying in the house and I saw a revelation. And in that revelation, I saw angels rising on this Samek house. Angels were just building. Angels were, were climbing Samek and building. 
and I saw angels were carrying blocks and going up. I told mommy, I said, Pearl, angels are now building the building. Oh, you know, when we were dedicating Kiviat a Elohim, when we dedicate, when we're dedicating Kiviat a Elohim, I told them, I said, when we finish Kiviat and dedicate, I will break from Kiviat. Then I'll go to the school, finish it. How many of you heard me? And then I'll come to Samek, finish it. So I will move away from the Kiviat because. So I left some money down. I chucked some money because of the school. I dedicated Kiviat yesterday. But today, as I'm talking to you, I have received more for the village project within 24 hours than for any other project. That means they are not going to break the Kiviat again. Monday, I'm giving them chance to rest. No, from now, Monday they'll be resting. And Pastor Mike, good news is that the Lord told me, and that one the Lord told me, that after this week, the whole of next week, I should give your office break. They should also go and rest. But after that break, we are going back to Giviat. And we are going to continue the library. No break. Somebody called me, he said, did, did I hear you say you need one year, next year, September, to finish the library? He said, it's too far. This year, you should be able to finish that. Thing. Look at you clapping like the most envious human being who has ever been on earth. Mike came to me at Giviat and said, How are we going to receive the offering? I said, I told, I told Chief Administrative Officer, I tell, Pastor, tell, tell them, Pastor Mike, they should do something very simple in terms of the offering because Giviat doesn't need money. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I had seen nothing. I had seen nothing. I said, I'm sure, sure, some of you, when you came to Giviat, you were waiting for pledges. The committee had prepared envelopes and pledge forms. I told them I don't need it. I had seen no penny. But I know that this one is the heel of God. It is the heel of God. Some people pronounce it the way they want to pronounce. My own is Gideon Ha Elohim. Hey, it is not how I pronounce it. It is what the place can do. I pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody should tell my wife who it is not how I pronounce it, it is what the place can do. Somebody tell her Gibiat is not an Abdam word. Ha is not an Abdam word. Elohim is not an Abdam word. The one I know how to say is Bunte Tatin Bafat. Yendu can do. Thank Barazo. Bandogun doti. That's my language. I pray over somebody. The Lord is my shepherd. What is he said? He makes me lie down in green pastures. He has taken responsibility. Your pocket should not be controlled by yourself. No. Your pocket cannot be controlled by you. Every pastor, go back home and tell yourself, I'm not going to depend on tithes. Today, 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 the, the, the finance chief, um, what is it? Finance chairman. Eh? He said, oh, daddy, we saw something and we, we went and bought 1,000 bags of cement because cement is going to increase or something. And we saw something, so we went and bought 1,000 bags of cement because we were afraid to come and tell you so we went and bought 1,000. I said, you should have told me. You would have bought 2,000 instead of 1,000. I told him, I said, you guys are professors in unbelief. Unbelief, doubt. Listen, heaven is open. And God is looking down on us. I pray 
mommy said we should encounter God may God be your boss may Jehovah be your boss may God take hold of your hand the apostle Paul said my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus God you see now let's 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 move from children to men psalm 1 psalm 23 from verse 1 to 4 is for children the lord is my shepherd and Kuala. i shall not want children this sunday school i i ask you kk yeah i ask you abramani balulu Yara Yara ni sunai wasa Nanga Yara suke wasa He make me lie down in green pastures Yara suke wasa Lead me beside the still waters He restored my soul Yara He lead me in the path of righteousness For his name's sake Yara When you get to verse 4 This is adult content this is the one for macho men. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is Chuck Norris. This is this is Hercules. This is Tazran. Now we are talking about men. We are talking about people that have got muscle. Huh? God said, I am the God of all flesh. Weak, cowards, unbelievers, sinners. All of them. They are the all flesh. This one. Uh -huh. Being food here, I don't know. Oh, me, I won't even go through this. Yet, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. Let me tell you this prosperity number one is God, but prosperity number two is affliction. Affliction. There is a level of prosperity. You will never get if you don't go through a certain kind of fire. Hey, if you are a pastor, you've never been sacked before. There's some prosperity you can get. No, no, no. In Volga, I knew what it meant to be sacked from one meeting to another place, one meeting to another place. Persecution. Oh, I've seen it many times. Just before we, we left, mommy told me, a friend of mine, I was sent a text message and said, oh, I said something and the thing is gaining negative traction. So um, he's just reaching out to, to check on how we are doing. No, we are fine. I don't need it. No, no, no. Th there is a level of prospect. There is a level of popularity. And there is a level at which people will listen to you. You have no choice but to be misunderstood. No, no, no. I told my wife, I said, no human being can speak the number of times I speak. Every week, every year, every day in a wilderness called Bogatanga. The number of times I preach, you will not get everything accurate. Even if it's not a mistake, it will be misunderstood. No, no, no. Do you know the number of times I speak? And I'm speaking without reading scripts. I don't read speeches. Look at you. Reading one page. You go, the Lord is my shepherd. Oh, what? How many times do you see me stammering? How many times do you see me looking into a paper? How many times do you see me standing here and I don't know exactly what to say? How many weeks have you had me quiet in life? I speak every week, every day, two times, three times, four times. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Affliction and persecution will come with it. It will come with it. The footballer, the more you play, the more you get injuries. If you don't get injury, you are not a proper footballer. The Lord is my shepherd. Children, but when you go through the valley of the shadow of death, watch this. God is God. Believe him. But number two, affliction. Don't waste it. 
every affliction you go through, every trial, every major test you go through in life, watch it. After that test, there will be a higher promotion. Higher prosperity. Listen, somebody is telling me I'm going through something. No, no, no. Pastor Gordon and Pastor Zinabu, you went through the things you were going through because another level of prosperity is coming. Take it. Ah. There is some blessing that will not come until you are bruised. If you can't show me your bruises and show me your scars, show me your pain, show me the number of times you've been betrayed, you have been misunderstood, you have been insulted, you have been persecuted. Don't tell me about prosperity. Go and ask Joseph. The same is the story of Jacob. So talk to Joseph, talk to Jacob, talk to Isaac, talk to Abraham, talk to Paul, talk to Peter. All of them will tell you that they will have to go through persecution in order to obtain prosperity I declare your prosperity but people your affliction will come now watch this watch this watch this watch this watch this before the valley of the shadow of death let's see what the psalmist was eating Psalm 1 the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want oh Psalm 23 verse 1 the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me light and green pastures. So before the valley of the shadow of death, you eat grass. But after the valley of the shadow of death, look at it. After the valley of the shadow of death, you prepare a table. Those who don't go through the valley of shadow of death, they eat grass. Those who go through valley of shadow of death, they enjoy a table. I announce to you, ladies and gentlemen, your affliction means your time for the table has come. I announce your time for the table. No, after your affliction, you have been broke. You have been confused. You lost your job. They lied for you. They put you in prison. They took everything you had from you. They told lies for you. They misrepresented you. Rep misrepresented you. You cried and cried and cried and cried. But I see God turn your captivity and put laughter in your mouth and put a song upon your tongue. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. You are moving from grass to the table. You are moving from grass to the table. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My crap runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and never. Chine, do me come on. Give him praise. His chine, do me come on. Come on, somebody. You are moving. You are moving. You are going higher. You are going higher. Come on, scream. Anywhere you lead me, I will go. Cause you are the way, truth, and the life. Jesus, you never leave me nor forsake me. Yeah. Except to build a house, the builders build in vain. Me, I go follow you, they go. Anywhere you lead me, I go go. Save my life. My life is for your glory. Your glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chili, 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 Taking me higher. Yeah. Jesus, you never leave me no more. Yeah. Chile, do more, do more, do more, do more, do more. You're 
Look at, look at chicken. Look at chicken. Chicken. Eh? What's chicken? Pule. Or what is the name? Pule. Or what do, what do they call chicken? You see? Pule. Pardon, Francais. Before chicken is killed, it is in poultry farm. Yes, sir. The place smell. Mm. Ah, poultry farm, the place not smell. Then you see them walking about. They never meet kings. They never meet MPs. They never meet ambassadors. Chicken. But when they take chicken, kill it, grill it, pass it through fire, then they will move it from the poultry. It appears in restaurant, air conditioned. Ambassadors are sitting in front of the chicken. The chicken is about to enter ambassador's stomach, the stomach of a king. Listen, when you go through fire, where you can go, another person who has not gone through fire can never go there. I came to announce to you, you nearly died, but your promotion is waiting for you. You were sick, you were afflicted, you were in bondage. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Where was he prepared? Through the valley of the shadow of death. You went through something, insult, abuses. You were persecuted. They nearly killed you. They attacked you left, right, center. Some rejected you. They told you you are the demon. Some said you are the devil. You were rejected everywhere. But I announce to you right now. Don't. Watch this. Don't waste the affliction. Don't. Don't waste the affliction. People who are crying because of affliction is because they don't see the prosperity in the affliction. They, they don't see the blessing. He said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I told one of my children, I said, This, this child of mine asked me, said, what is the biggest thing in your life? I said, it's the afflictions I've gone through. The afflictions I've gone through. The afflictions I've gone through. And I said, those afflictions made, a they made me a different kind of human being. When you go through the valley of the shadow of death, and you are not afraid of any evil, by the time you come out, God himself will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies you see ladies and gentlemen don't get surprised you have more enemies than friends no 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 people the number of people who hate you are more than those who like you the only people you can be sure like you are your wife and your children i want to advise you Apart from your wife and your children, don't pretend another person likes you. No, 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 no. Wait until you are in trouble. Wait until you are broke. Wait until you make a mistake. Wait until you have offended them. What? Until you have provoked their anger. Then you say, hey, I didn't know I have so many enemies. Hey, even the house you built and you have tenants, they don't like you. Your employees don't like you. If they have their way, the company should collapse, fall on your head first, and they will escape. Thou prepare us. You see, look at the thousands of people here. No, 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 no. Maybe the ones who are not your enemies, maybe just 10%. 10%. The whole of this place, maybe the people truly like me are two. All 
the rest you may be standing here because you have no choice because you have watched and you can't do anything about me I'm there you will go and come and still be standing here so you have no choice you have to stand here but if you have your own way I shouldn't be standing here you think you are friends you think people like you oh you think your co-worker likes you no no don't don't fool yourself like that you think this cameraman likes me this cameraman will put the light, light on if he likes me why is it that anytime I'm standing like this he takes the camera from me when I turn my head and I'm showing here he shoot you see the way the camera is now on my face because you see there are many cameras and they know if I turn like this it should be this camera but they will intentionally zoom this other one but Loruko But Lord Zinyak. Ah, that is why I have this camera and I have that one and I have this so that when I turn, you will conceal my fault a little. But this concern me, Guluma. I will turn. Look at it. Look at it. Ah, your grandfather was bald headed and your great grandfather too, he lost his head. So you see the enemies I have. Cameraman. All this front row. I don't know which one likes me. Even Chairman Clement. Look at the way. He's not my friend though. Oh, this week, look at the way many people are persecuting me. But see, he's wearing white, white. Is this my friend? Is this, is this my friend? The weak people are persecuting me like this. This man, if he's my real friend, he should be wearing black. Don't you see I'm wearing black? Because of my persecutions. All these people, they don't like me. All these people. All these people, they don't like me. All these people, they don't like me. You, you don't like me. She's, she's my daughter, she doesn't like me. This prophet, he's just pretending to like me, he doesn't. Pastor Bray, he doesn't like me. This man doesn't like me. Pastor McRubin, always follow me around, he doesn't like me. Pastor John doesn't like me. All these people, they don't like me. And I can give you reasons why all of them, they don't like me. Pastor Bray doesn't like me. When was the last time you called me? A Auntie Julie doesn't like me. She brought banana to our house and they shared the banana. They took the good banana. They said it's for guest speaker. And they took the banana which had leprosy and they were bringing it to me. I said, turn the fire your heads. They said, don't take this banana to church. I said, it has arrived already. They said it belongs to Dr. Menzo Otaro. And I said, oh, I saw some nice banana on the black table. Where is that one? They said, oh, that one is for the guest. Then they brought me leprosy. So, so do they like me. But mommy, she likes me. Mommy went later. Uh, Angie, you were sharing the banana. It's Angie who was sharing the banana. Then mommy now went and brought some of the nice one. Come on, I can't get it. Mambo Bora. Bam Marba Kwaru. Bam Marchente Sam. Let me see. The people don't like me. No, 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 I can prove it. <laughs> the doctrine, the doctrine according to banana. And, and you are saying, ah, but must you preach with banana? Listen, even Jesus, when he went to fig tree and there was no fruit, he said it and they wrote it down. <laughs> even Jesus, when he didn't get fruit, Adam, when he went and ate fruit, they wrote it down. So fruit is a very good thing to use to preach. 
Why you can't clap? You don't know your Bible. You who name Bible wrong? Who name Bible? Who name Bible? Who name Bible? One day, Mama Comfort asked Mommy a question. Said, "Enti Nana, Mufio, oh, secret be all. Secret. Look, our house, everything preaches. Everything preaches. Ah, everything preaches. So yeah." You know, I went and told that is something you used to preach. As you used to preach. Judas Iscariot or Absalom or Methuselah, they don't know. But you, Pitasco, when I say Pitasco, everybody knows you. Today, like this, I was about to come to church. Timothy put my car, my car key in his pocket and disappeared. Timothy! 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 Disappeared! With my key! I sat in the car. They said, no key. They phoned Timothy. He said, he has forgotten. He's taking the key away. I got down. I said, I'm sitting in mommy's car. They said, wait. I told them, me, I don't go backwards. So. When I move forward ever, backward never. I sat in mommy's car. They pushed the chair because that, that car is for people who are disadvantaged towards heaven. Boom, <laughs> biriba. No, I didn't drive. I sat down. Clap for Angie. She drove very well. She nearly drove like Kofi Odro's driver. Like Prophet Kofi Odro's driver. I saw her shame. I said, hey, take your time. Eh? So you see, where did I appear on banana? I, I was talking about the people who don't like him, like Angie and the banana. So you see, he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Let, let me advise you you have more enemies than you think. No, no, no. So when they give you pay rise, don't tell everybody. When they promote you, don't tell everybody. When daddy calls you, tells you, oh, Dr. Abednego, I love you. Don't tell anybody. Don't go out. No, you see these people. Oh, daddy loves me. Oh, oh daddy really loves me. <laughs> they say, why are you laughing like, wow, wow. oh, daddy really loves me. Don't. You have too many enemies. You see, one day, let me tell you this, and I may close. Me. King Bernadad of Syria was sick. And he calls um, he calls um, Elisha the prophet, his spiritual father. So Bernadad of Syria sent Hazel, his army commander, to Elisha and said, Elisha, go to Hazel, go to Elisha. The prophet. Find out from him whether I'll recover from this sickness or I will die. Hazel went to Elisha and Elisha said, Go and tell your boss, Ben Haddad, that this sickness will not kill him, but he will die. What is this? The sickness will not kill him, but he will die. So Hazel went and told Ben Haddad, The kings, the prophet said, you will not the sickness will not kill you but you will die that same night Hazel the messenger Ben-Hadad sent to Elisha he killed Ben-Hadad and took over the truth then the Lord told me be careful who you introduce to your spiritual father some people will come to you they want to see your spiritual father. Don't take them there. They want to know where your secret is. You see, you know how to protect the man. You see, like today, I was there when, when somebody came to me. And, you know, I meet it all the time. Pastor Solo will come to me and say, oh, there is somebody. The person wants to see you. The person wants to just come and see you for two minutes and go. And many times, you are forced to see them because this is Pastor Solo. But I'm telling you, a lot of the people come with their own agenda. 
Some come shortly after that, they want to take a picture with you, and you don't know what they'll do with the picture. Some even come and they are recording you. I remember one day, a young man came to me in a cry. He said he wants to come and see me. And I said, why not? This guy came into the room, not knowing he was recording me. And I didn't know. I'm conversing with him freely because I know his father, I know his mother, and I knew him when he was just a baby. When he was born, I knew him. So we're just talking freely. After talking 20 minutes, he said, Daddy, I was recording all you were saying. Are you okay with it? But I have finished saying them. And then, my chief protocol in Accra is a proper one. His name is not George Surunube. If it's George, they will not only record me, they will carry me. He didn't know that my chief security you know, were being chained. My chief security was just standing and look, listening to the conversation. So he told the gentleman, I said, you've not recorded anything. I put off your phone already. Your phone is in your hand, but I've killed it. You didn't record anything. He said, I killed your phone outside before you came here. No, no, no. People, this is not George Shurunube. This one. Fake. Original. He said, I killed your fool. You have recorded nothing. So I told the security guy later, I said, how did you do it? He said, daddy, I saw from outside that he was recording. He started recording from outside, so I killed the fool. And I said, how did, how did you do that? He said, no, that one I can't tell. <laughs> then I said, how did you know? He said, daddy, our eyes are trained. When we enter a place, we will use our eyes and scan everybody. <laughs> Listen to me. The more your prosperity, the higher the enemies you deal with. Anytime your car changes, your persecution will change. And they hate you not because you have done something wrong. You are driving a car they don't like. You are living in a house. They like it, but you, don't, you shouldn't live in that house. Ah, why should you be having a big church like this? Look at the way the church is big. Look at the people. Why? So instead of saying you are preaching the truth, they say they have deceived the people. They are lying to the people and the people are following them. You the one that is not lying to people and you are speaking the truth. Where are your people? Who is listening to you? Huh? Who, 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 is, who is listening to you? Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of your enemies. As soon as your table is prepared, witches and wizards will gather. Everywhere. Oh God. They come from everywhere. But tonight, I just came to tell you. Witches, wizards, diviners, enchanters. They cannot do anything about you. Listen. The more they multiply, the more God multiplies the prosperity. Am I talking to somebody? The God will multiply the prosperity. He said, thou preparest a table before me. In the presence of your enemies. If you are on your bicycle, they are chasing you. He will give you a motorbike. If you are on the motorbike, they are chasing you. He will give you a car. If you are in a car, they are chasing you. He will give you four-wheel drive. If they try to catch up with the four-wheel drive, God will give you a plan. Come and clap your hands and scream at them. Prosperity. Prosperity. I pray. May the Lord God Almighty prosper you. Lift up your hands. Thou preparest a table before me. Look at me. We are standing here because of persecution. We went through the valley of the shadow of death. They chased us from place to place. I believe if years ago 
the Zahra people had allowed us to remain in Zahra Experimental School, we would still be there. Borrowed property. When they sack you from where you are meeting, they want you to get your own place. That is why Jesus Christ was buried in a borrowed tomb. The tomb belonged to Joseph of Arimathea. So after three days, he had to get up and go and sit at the right hand of the throne of God from where nobody could depose him. But I'm telling you, if the tomb was Jesus Christ's own, he would have remained there forever. Tonight, the Lord told me something. He said, people who rent houses tonight are becoming owners of houses. People who rent houses are becoming owners of houses. Last week, if you had asked me, when will you go back to Giviat A Elohim? I've been saying Giviat A Ahe. Give yad ha Elohim. If you don't know it, listen to me. Give yad ha Elohim. If last week you had told me that after one week I'll go back and continue this thing, I'll tell you no. I tell you, I want to rest. But as I speak to you, even if I want to go back tomorrow, I will go. And continue with the library. Uh, I pray for somebody. Receive prosperity. No, no, no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, uh, Fountain gate must through persecution too much. No, no, no. Most through persecution. I said to me, show me one church in Africa or the world which really prospered and increased in number without persecution. Because sometimes it's even the persecution that makes your name go faster and further. suffer who throw controversy like 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 prophet Kofi Odro was saying yesterday you are even, you are even afraid to receive an offering how are you going to prosper how are you, how are you going to build a church some of you by the grace of God you should have been higher than where you are by now no 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 higher 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 Fountain get your strong from now. Adults are hiding under tables. I pray over somebody. No, 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 Igwe. The true persecution some of the church goes go through. If it's our church, I don't know how they will deal with it. No, I'm talking about true persecution. True, true persecution. The Nintam days, we could handle it. But not this poultry farm we have opened. Eh? No. 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 Eh? Bongoma, you, you handled it. This man was persecuted. That's why he can never put on weight. He remained like this, and that was it. I pray for somebody. Prosperity. Don't build a house with one garage, build a house with two garages. <laughs> I remember when our architect was building a house. He put places, he said, car park. 
as a child thing, you the car park here quite. Or see, or so you will need them. I said, I will never need this kind of car park. I will need it. Say, or so you will need it. At that time, I didn't know presidents would be visiting my house. These days, when the presidents of Ghana land and they are coming to the house, ping, 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 ping. Hey. When they come with this, and I'm standing there, I say, Space. Space. And when we're doing the car park outside, people were angry. Why are they doing this outside? Today, when you come, they see some of the cars are parked there. God does not give you a house according to your present. He gives you a house according to your future. No, no, no. God gave us this church because of today, not because of yesterday. When we're changing sheet glass, when we're changing louvers to sheet glass, some people got angry in this church and left. I. We have stopped the church. Why? They are changing louvers to sheet glass. You are sitting here in these louvers once in a while. Some will remove and fall. They say, no, we want to die. Some left the church because of sheet glass. Prosperity. Your food will change. Your house will change. May you leave one house for each of your children. One house is not enough. Pastors. Every pastor. Founding a chapel. May God raise billionaires and millionaires in the church. Receive it. Somebody online step into prosperity. Listen. Don't waste your affliction. Don't waste your suffering. Don't waste your pain. Can I announce to you? Any pain you go through is a signal for higher prosperity. No, no, no. Any, any persecution you go through, any insult, any abuse, watch, watch what is outside the door. Prosperity and blessing. Huh? Anything major and big that is coming to you will come after a shake-up. Pastors, the time your church grows is when people run out of the church and go and lie. That pastor is just standing in the church, they're pushing people down. That the power of the Holy Ghost is pushing people down. And you hear stories like that. That is what makes your church grow. Somebody says, I, I want to go and see it. Yeah, everybody's saying they are pushing people down. I want to go and see it. I pray. Somebody has gone through a lot of pain, sicknesses, difficulties. I want you to command every challenge you've gone through, every pain, command it to produce prosperity. Somebody pray. Produce prosperity. Sickness, produce prosperity. Affliction, produce prosperity. Chile do me.
Well, you just build the Me, I go follow you, they go. Anywhere you need me, I go go. The shadow of death produce prosperity. God produces prosperity. Affliction produces prosperity. My life is for your glory. Your glory. I say, except you build a house, the builders build the vein. Me, I go follow you to go. Anywhere you need me, I go go. standing please for thou O God has proved us 
You have tried as, as silver is. Tried. You brought us into the net. Thou laid affliction upon our loins. You have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou brought us as out into a wealthy place. And that word wealthy place in the Hebrew is revaya. And revaya means overflow, satisfies, running over. So when he said, my cup ran it over, the running over is the same word, revaya. You know, people, don't waste your suffering. You have gone through too much to remain broke. And that's because you didn't know that prosperity and blessing follows the valley of the shadow of death. I announced to somebody your time of prosperity has arrived. Your time of breakthrough has arrived. Lift up your hand. Say this after me. I enter my place of breakthrough. Somebody shout, I receive the building anointing. Somebody shout, I receive the building anointing. Somebody shout, I receive the building anointing. You know, Dr. Menzo Tabel said something here. He said, he told his wife, he said, I don't know what has happened to Eastwood. The man is just building. And also, at the end of the truth, anointing. Of course, that thing I said about the banana, don't turn into a doctrine. I was just joking. Look, I love that man so much that even if it was my only food, I would give it to him. And, and, and mommy and I, mommy and I started making sacrifices not only today. Even when we had nothing, mm -hmm. we will share the food to the children and me and mommy will be waiting. She will give me mine. She herself will be sitting down. We will know that she has not eaten. And she's waiting for all these children to finish eating before she eat. So we've learned those sacrifices. And our children also know it. That is why when there's some kind of banana, they will know which one to hold. Some of you, Timothy, those of you in the house will eat the good banana. And when the guest rather comes, you will carry the dundumbaza and go and give to them. So, um, Pearl, you know, we are turning the other way. We are commending you people. Next time, do the same. Don't change it. Don't change it. Don't change it. No, and that's because the truth is, if they had brought me, it's the same thing I would say. I'll tell them, keep the better one for my friend. He's a guest. He's just coming and he's going. You know me. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. You know me, but somebody else. Mm -mm. Mugu <laughs> Nerbawa. Uh, somebody say the building anointing. Come on, shout it, the building anointing. Shout it, the building anointing. Listen, I hear it clear. We are in the dispensation of building. <laughs> Pastor Gordon and Pastor Zenabu, a land is coming for you. Did I say Pastor Gordon? Yeah, you is a matter of time it will catch up with you. Eh? Or you don't want to be a pastor. You don't, you don't want to be a pastor. Eh? You, you don't want to be a pastor. Eh? We are ordaining people on um, Saturday. Go and join them. Eh? Okay. Ordination and yard, yeah, Sorry, sir. So you and no more What do you say? no more And I own pen, ma. And a dim, and a undini partem. Anna, and I own more, me, you, me, be you, mono. Eh, Anna, so you are so for so. Two of you, you three bowls at a time. One bowl, kitwebi. Eh? 
And then when you are also a pastor, you cannot have by hard friends. Hey, Ali Here, Ali Here. So examine yourself. He said, if any man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good thing. Let a man therefore so examine himself and after that, let him use this office. So you look at yourself. If you think you are correct, go and tell Pastor Mike. If you think you are correct, go and tell Pastor Mike you are correct. They should add you. But why I'm making it public is so that in case you owe somebody, they'll come and tell me. And in case you are going to do a contract somewhere, you have been paid. Or in case the other day you were karate my daughter, but she hasn't said it. A witness. So everybody, you have 48 hours to examine this man whether he can be a pastor. If you don't say anything after this forever, keep, keep silent. <laughs> pastor Mike, I know. <laughs> pastor Mike just shook his head. What will we do with it? Chairman, I forgot you are there. Zenit Bank, say any answer. Zenit Bank, um, ADB, Omnibusic. They don't do it like that. Too. That is why he said, I will build my church. His own is different from Zenit <laughs> and ADB. Hey, who wants to be ordained? You want to be ordained? Uh, somebody, somebody went to Pastor Mike and said, Pastor Mike, I think I want to be ordained. So Pastor Mike called me and said, so and so said she wants to be ordained. I said, it is long overdue. She has been in this ministry for years, I think. Long. I said, no, it's long overdue. I don't know what stops it. Just go ahead with it. How did I appear there? Zego, and come. Zego, look. You are going to get big land in Accra. Big land. That is why the other day I told you stop struggling about small things. No, no, something big. 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 Somebody is going to get very happy with you for one reason or the other and tell you they want to show you something. You will see a land and a property. The terms and conditions they will give you for that land will be unbelievable because the people just like you. It will almost be as if somebody has taken inheritance and given it to you. You will be one of the pastors in this ministry who will not go into full time quickly. But you will maintain your business. And you get plenty of money. No, Zego, one year laho, you get plenty of money. I hear a voice, and the voice said, Money is your friend. Money is your friend. And then money fits you. There are some people, money is not nice on them. When you put money on them, the money will turn into graphic. But you, money fits you. I speak grace on you. The grace for land. Take it. I speak grace on you. The grace for land. Oh, take it. Jesus touched them with the grace for land. The Lord ministered to me strongly today that the anointing for building. Apostle, me, I don't know what happened to me, but that thing is very strong. I want any pastor and any businessman. Any pastor, give me some envelopes. Any pastor or any businessman who is just believing God, Lord, I tap into this anointing for building. You want to sow a seed of just 3,000. Just 3,000. Get up and come to me. That 
that may even be money you are put down because you want to use it for a building and you are saying I'm going to take some of it and I'm going to sow that seed write prosperity on this envelope anybody under the sound of my voice I'm not talking to only pastors I'm talking to businessmen we release grace for building 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 where is Fostimba come and take this envelope and sow a seed I announce the raising of a boarding house for churches. There's a Pastors International School. That you will produce a boarding house. People will bring their children from afar and leave them with you and go back to Accra and go back to Burkina. I speak it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ten more people have to come to me. Ten more people have to come to me. From the congregation and everywhere. Listen to me. It's part of the ministration. It's part of the ministration. I believe that when you release something, something else comes. I remember when we started doing LR TV, LR radio, the way we were breaking sweat. <laughs> Man of God, this year, the LR TV and LR radio, it has become easy. It has become what easy. Every month, we are doing the 120,000 Ghana cities for LR TV and radio, and we are not feeling the sweat. I remember when, when I was in Canaan land years ago, Bishop Oedeko took me around the Canaan land, drove me in the night himself in a car. He stopped at a certain point because he knew I was getting confused. He slapped my tie. He said, Apostle Jesus, I'm doing all this without sweat. I said, hey! I said in my head, yeah, 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 queen. I went to church bar. I saw offering. People were putting offering at the altar and they were carrying it in Ghana must go two people will carry it and put it down and go two people Ghana must go after the meeting I said Papa what was that they were putting in the, in the church because I thought it was Calipo he said I pursue you that was money I said eh come on the offering in Ghana must go I was sitting with him in the office we were chatting People will come and talk to Papa and go. People will come and talk to Papa and go. And when they talk, I thought they were doing something else. I said, Papa, what were the people doing like that? Is that about you? These people have been trained. Anybody who comes here, they know that this place is full of blessing. And when they release a seed, they are blessed. So that's what they do. He came to London and he was in a hotel. I went there to greet him. All the people came to him. When he's talking to them, they'll be writing notebook. I said, Papa, what are they doing with notebook when you are talking to them? He said, I possess you. They know I am a, I'm a, I'm a, rep, a repository of wisdom. So anybody who stands in front of me, they write because they know wisdom is flowing anytime. So they write. He said, they don't come to me with a notepad because they know what I'm likely to release. I said, oh, me, my own, they are different. Me, my own, they come to me when I'm talking. No, yeah. I'm talking to them. They are right. Anybody, and you see, these things work. This things work. Anybody who is holding that envelope, I know you've been giving seed, though. even yesterday you gave. I know. This thing is a different thing. I pray you will build houses. 
People are getting into real estate. You will build. No, you will build houses. I started living in Bogatanga in 1972. I was 12 years old. Our ministry is the only church that has done this all these years. That you are in Boga and the whole world is hearing of you. Right here. And it's not like we do it intentionally. No, 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 no. You don't even know how they hear. Yesterday, a friend of mine who came for the opening, he said, Pastor Isu, why have you done this to me? You know, my pictures don't go anywhere. I came to your church only once. My pictures are all over the place. And people are calling me and asking me what I was doing in Bogatanga. God has given us a foundation to stand on. I want seven people to take advantage of this thing. Sow that seed of the 3,000. Just enter. Somebody's online. Join us. I'll minister to some people very soon. I'll minister to some people very soon. But I want the ground to be prepared. Because sometimes when you are receiving all this ministration and you have sown a seed and the seed goes with it, it becomes stronger. And you are not sowing this seed because the ministry needs help. No. Somebody sow a seed of 2,000. Somebody, somebody sow a seed of 1,000. Come to me quickly and do it. They are the last ones I'm calling. Because by the time I go below a thousand, I'm not talking about prosperity again. I'm talking about by you managing. And I'm not talking about somebody managing. I'm talking about you entering prosperity and a blessing. I pray. A little one shall become a thousand. A small one shall become a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. May the Lord bless your life. Thank you. Yeah, please go. Jesus. Everybody, hey, Araba, you are here. I hear you are bringing some people to be baptized. Amazing. Thank you. Prophet Felix, come here. Hey, that's one of my baptismal candidates. We are powerful, O Pearl. Fountain Gate Chapel. As you go back to where you are coming from, I pray that everywhere we go from this particular convention, may the Lord give us satisfaction, prosperity everywhere. Some of you are leading, some of you are looking, hey, Roger, what have you been eating? Thank you. Thank you. Everywhere we go from here, may we spread and smear the whole place with prosperity and blessing. You know what? Desert Pastures, Fountain Gate Chapel, EM, KI, we alone can change Upper East Region, change Ghana, change Africa. I speak upon you in the name of Jesus. It's the belief. 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 Pastor Mark, hold these envelopes for me. I want people who know what giving is all about to hold these envelopes. Give me another set of envelopes. Pastor Chris, hold this one for me. This man is a formidable giver. Anybody who is believing God, Lord, I want to enter prosperity. I, I want to sow a seed of a hundred or two hundred or three hundred or anything, but not less than hundred. Take an envelope and do it. Some of these instructions, when they come, just obey them. If you are even watching online. After every ministration and offering is received because we are in a convention and we are in a festival. And God himself said, thou shalt not appear before me empty-handed. Don't come before me empty. I dedicate the offerings of today to building. To building to prosperity. To building to prosperity. When you pick up the envelope, lift it up and start praying. Some of you can do your seed right now. 
do it and put it on the altar. Some of you can do it right now. Do it and put it on the altar. Otherwise, by tomorrow. And if you took an envelope from Prophet Kofi Drew and you have that envelope, put it on the altar right now. Somebody who is online, just exercise your feet. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Except you build a house. If you just build a bed, may I go follow you to go. Anyway, may I will go. Jesus. Somebody take an offering and push into this thing. Maybe your offering is 50 Ghana cities. Take it and follow them. Somebody's watching me online. Follow them. Be part of it. And anybody releasing the seed, believe God for your house you are building. Believe God for the house you don't have. Somebody, yours is rent. Somebody that seed is as little as 20 Ghana cities or 10 Ghana cities. Take it and follow them. Do something. Today, all you want to do is don't sit idle. Don't sit idle. Somebody's following us online. Do it. If you are in America, watch me. Somebody is in America. You are watching us. Take a seed of $100. Follow them. Take a seed of $200. Follow them. Sometimes you can take a seed of $1,000 and follow them. In the name of Jesus. Somebody take a seed of 50 pounds. Follow them. 50 euros. Follow them. Nancy, come here. May the Lord fill you with laughter. May he fill you with joy. Pray that tonight you receive some peace you have not had for months. The other day we had a conversation. Definitely I know that somebody like that will not have peace. But may you have peace. Nancy, look at me. Look at me. The kind of peace we have does not agree with logic. So people will meet you. You know what? That thing I called you and had a conversation with you. If I were you, I would have said yes. You see, I would have known the person who is talking to me. And I would have known that because of the things this man can endure. And he's still holding a microphone. Mm, I will be the true daughter of my father. I know you are my daughter. I have to play the ball according to your strength. But if I were you, such a man, I'll just ask him, what do you think? Because there are some people, they are not perfect, but they don't get some things wrong. 
You see what I just spoke about God? You can use your carnal mind and doubt it. But I'm telling you, this man, it will not be long. He will even become a stronger preacher than his wife. No, no, no. You are in doubt. You wait. You will see the kind of souls the unction on this man will bring. He himself will also be shocked about the contracts that will be coming to him. But Nancy, peace. Peace. Nancy, your father is a storm fighter. No, 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 no. You people, your father is a storm fighter. I fight storm. I ride a storm. Storms don't carry me. I ride them. No, no, no. I ride storm. The thing that kills people, I look at it and smile. So Jesus said, my peace I give unto you. In God, there's no disappointment. He knows what he's doing. Ah, oh, Jesus. After tonight, you'll be shocked the peace that will enter. Mama, the Lord is telling me that if I didn't stop this thing tonight, your daughter will grieve until she herself becomes a sickler. And by the time all those things are over, we'll be picking a vegetable. Because mami wamu, na kuma no eye weak eba. They will say something dangerous about her. But to me, I declare that this daughter is a daughter of this house. You know what our name is? Storm fighter. We are storm fighters. Some people are firefighters. We are storm fighters. Oh, this house. Mba. No storm brings it down. Peace. You will be the first to laugh in desert passes. In the month of laughter. I command the spirit of laughter to burst out into your spirit. Receive it. <laughs> the spirit of laughter I speak the spirit of laughter upon you Come on, clap it and scream like you have some fun If you knew the number of months she has cried, the number of months she has been sorrowful, the number of months she has been depressed, you will be clapping and shouting louder than the pathetic clapping you are doing. Keep your peace. Keep your laughter. Keep your joy. Take it. Oh, let it go. Peace. Perfect peace. And now I declare the sleep you have not slept for months and for weeks. Today, receive that sleep. Receive that peace. Take it. Take it. Take it. I want mommy 
kindly leave the building and then find a nice cup. A nice cup. 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 The one they used to take tea. Make some nice milo. A cold one. Nice milo. When you come back, look for where Nancy is sitting and give it to her to drink. Come on. Clap like you are not envious. upon her. Now don't disturb her. Don't touch her until she gets her. Peace. Grace. Grace Roland, come here. Same dimensions of peace. Come and just touch her and receive it. Just touch her. Receive it. Kneel by her and touch her. And receive same peace. Take it. Uh, let it go. She needs the same dimensions of this. I declare tonight the day of peace and stability. The day of peace and stability. And the peace and stability will lead to prosperity. Anybody who has not released your offering, even if it's one city, go to the altar, do it. I want everybody in this building to go to the altar. This is our second offering. Everybody come, go to the altar. Everybody. If you made a pledge but you have not given the offering yet, take an offering and put it on the altar. Everybody go. Oh, out of my belly. Play only the instrument for some time so that the choir can rest their voices. Somebody watch my daughter. Make sure nobody steps on her. Thank you.
Sofloor. 